Hey guys, Tech Mentor here with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys 10 ways to improve an old iPad. This is going to be the case if you have an older generation iPad that can't be updated to the latest iOS version and you're really stuck with the slow iPad. And there's a couple things you can do actually to speed it up a little bit faster like it used to be. As you know, over time, Apple tends to slow down the speed and it could be just over time usage that some of these settings that we're going to show you guys and tips that we're going to share with you guys that might help you speed up up to 50% the speed that you currently have. But before we dive into today's video, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways, so make sure that like and subscribe button. Also, if you guys are in the market to upgrade for a newer iPad but don't want to pay too much, make sure you guys check out the links in the description section. So let's go ahead and talk about the first thing you want to do. The first thing you want to do is simply go into settings. Once you go into settings, you're going to want to do is go into general. So you're going to go to general. By the way, this is an iPad first generation with iOS 9 so it can't get past iOS 9 just to give you guys a reference this will work similarly with if you have a newer iOS maybe 10 11 even or 12 some of the newer features and settings might be slightly different but it's going to be applicable to your newer iPads as well so we're in settings general here and then the next thing we want to do is go to accessibility under accessibility the first thing we want to take a look at is reduce motion. So as you can see by default this is turned off. What this allows the iPad to is create animations that run and take up sort of the memory or, or the resources on the iPad. We want to go ahead and turn that on. This way it won't try to reduce the motion trying to use that a bit of memory that it needs. So that's something we want to turn off. And the next thing we want to do is simply go in settings again and this time we're going to make sure we're in again general so we're going to be at the main screen of general and you'll notice there's something known as spotlight search so what happens with spotlight search is that it goes ahead and indexes or searches all these apps so when you're searching for something or looking for something it's going to on the background it's making it's a running a process basically that's being utilized in the hardware which again takes up resources on the iPad and by resources and the process running it can slow down your iPad. We're going to go ahead and review all of that. Simply you want to go ahead and turn all of these off. Simply on an older iPad you shouldn't need this and this is something by default we wish there was like an off button but you have to go through all the apps that you see and later on we're going to show you guys a tip so you don't have to do all of this but you're going to go ahead and turn these off we started to turn them off here but because there's so many here we're just going to move on to the next tip for you guys and this is going to be again in the settings this time in the settings we're going to go over to privacy so right over privacy we're going to look to make sure that location services is completely turned off so things like maps for example need location but if you're using an ipad you most likely won't be utilizing it that quite often or if you're using maybe facebook twitter or some application that require maybe to share your location during that time it will ask you to turn it back on but by default if you're using an ipad older ones simply to just browse and watch videos maybe play games most likely you're not going to be needing location services for apps so to go ahead turn that off because again that location services has a built-in GPS uh, sensor in it that needs to be activated and GPS sensor is a power hog simply can take up the power on the device and slow things down so we're going to completely turn off location services moving on to the next tip for you guys is going to be around this is more specific to browsing so if you feel that your browsing is slowing down and it's slower than before or you're loading up pages websites much slower than before we want to check in settings to safari and we're going to want to do is clear the history and data website data here we're going to click on that what this will do is clear any sort of cache history such as cookies browsing data from over time so if you use the device for a couple months to a couple of years there's a lot of website history and data that's going to be stored on the safari application completely slowing it down we want to go ahead and clear that 
And once you clear that, it will be grayed out. Again, this will hopefully improve the browsing experience that you're feeling slow or sluggish on. Tip number five for you guys, it's going to be a popular one that's applicable across a lot of Apple devices. It's going to be in settings. This time we're going to go back over to general again. And the general, we're going to look for this background app refresh. What this is, is by default it is turned on. What it is doing is simply refreshing the app in the background, constantly looking for updates. So all of these apps, as you can see, they're looking for updates. And if there's an update, it's going to notify you or simply just pulling in new data. And you may not need that because once you open an app, it does that already for you. Why would you want all these apps to constantly run and check for updates? Again, taking your power, you know, that you could be using it for other parts of your iPad. We're going to simply go ahead and turn that off. And this way it has a toggle off button and all of these apps that in the past would be able to do that constantly on the Wi-Fi or cellular network is now turned off. And this will also preserve your battery life as well. So because this does take a lot of power on your device. So that's going to be important thing to do. Tip number six for you guys. It's going to be around something you'll have to do yourself. It's going to be slightly different for everyone. It's going to be around what we say is iPhone storage or memory. By default, you'll see in, if you're in, again, settings general, this time we're gonna go to storage and iCloud usage. You'll notice the storage that's available on your device. By default, this one, we used up for about five gigs and we have about eight gigs or so. We can go ahead and manage storage. What we want to do is, go ahead and clear as much space as we can because the more space the iPad is using up, so if you're using up all of the space, there's a lot of things that the iPad has to go through in the storage whenever it's processing things for you and that can potentially slow down your iPad. As you can see, all of these apps that we have takes about a certain amount of memory to simply run or exist or save the data on your iPad. As you can see, this one, Facebook is taking about 200 meg or so, but these can add up, especially if you have tons of app. What we're going to do is simply review all of these apps. These are all the apps that are installed on your iPad. What you're going to look to do here is simply look for all these apps that you have, and we're going to be deleting apps that we no longer use or simply just taking up space because we have no use for it and that's going to be really important because we want to be able to clear such thing maybe apps that you know you don't have any use for haven't been running because it's taking up space it's uh, consuming up the space that you have and potentially slowing down your iPad for example if we have Google Docs here let's say it's taking in about 128 MB of space. We don't need it anymore. We're going to simply go ahead and delete that app, delete the app, and that will delete it. You can also come over here to any of the apps, press and hold, and it will should wiggle like this. Click the X button to simply delete it. So if we wanted to delete that, simply delete that, click delete, and that should delete it for you. Go ahead and review all the apps. Sometimes over time you load over tens of hundreds of apps that potentially aren't even needed anymore and taking up that space and slowing down your iPad. So review that. Along with that, it's going to be your, the next big things that take up storage on your device is going to be around media that you have. So photos and videos by default take up a lot of space. You want to go ahead and review your camera roll simply find large videos or photos that you no longer need and clear it out so for example I want to delete this photo I can simply click on this and then hit that trash can delete photo now we have a video here maybe I don't need that video we're going to do the same thing delete video and you notice that once you start clearing up it's going to clear up the storage making your iPad a little bit faster and what's going to happen is in the album section here, right, photos and then album, it's going to be stored in this recently deleted for about 30 days or so. So what we want to do is after we delete it, it's come over here again, hit that, as you can see, select button, and we're going to go ahead and delete all that so that it permanently removes it. So every time you delete something from an album, it comes to 
what's known as a recently deleted folder temporarily for about 30 days before I, the iPad automatically deletes it. We're going to just force that and delete that completely and hopefully clearing the space will speed up your iPad. Next thing we want to do is simply go back to settings again. And this time in settings what we're going to do is go over to general again and then in the general section we're going to look for the option for Siri. So if you have Siri turned on especially on an older iPad it could potentially again take up more power because it's running in the background looking to index things so that it can find it for you. We want to go ahead and complete turn off Siri because Siri likes to take off a lot of space is in terms of whenever it's indexing, it's running in the background. And on an older iPad, it might not make sense to try to use Siri. So go ahead and turn off Siri. Next tip for you guys, tip number eight to speed up your iPad is simply going to be doing what's known as clearing the RAM on your iPad. So not, not a lot of people know about this, but over time, what happens is RAM is that random access memory that over time Apple lo the iPad can load stuff onto it and we're going to simply do a clear of that. To do that we're going to simply hold the power button which is going to be on the top press and hold that till you see the menu to slide to power off. We're not going to slide to power off we're just going to simply hold the home button here keep on holding it for a good five to ten seconds basically we want to go back here to the home screen once you get to the home screen release that home button. So again power button hold the home button until you see the get back to the home screen and to see if that was successful if you have any apps that you had open it should reload that app so if we have photos app let's go with some apps that are actually was open so let's say I had app store opened up and if the the RAM was cleared successfully it will do a reload of that app by because it was cleared from the memory itself so you want to do that Tip number nine for you guys, it's going to be software updates. So although you have an older iPad, you still need to make sure you have the latest version of that iOS version. To do that, simply go into settings and then general software update and check for the update. As you can see on the iPad first generation here, the latest version is 9.3.5 and our software is up to date. You want that. If there's an update, maybe a minor update that needs to be, update that because Apple releases bug fixes, security vulnerability fixes, things that potentially could possibly getting in the way of the software and by not updating that you're potentially risking your device and possibly slowing it down as well. Tip number 10 is that over time when you use an iPad for a very long period of time it's time to finally give it a rest and give it a restart and you're going to want to restart your iPad especially if you use it for a couple of days sometimes it's good to just give a nice restart where you turn it off completely for about a couple minutes or so and then turn it back on to do that you're going to simply hold the power button so let's do that one more time hold the power so let's get this going on you're going to hold the power button here up top wait till slide to power off we're gonna go ahead and slide to power off and when you power off give it good uh, like you said a minute or two so it's fully shut down reach and then do a power on again this power cycles the iPad and also clears up any sort of software glitches any issues that you've been having that is software related and your iPad hopefully should increase by almost 50% what it was before so hopefully this video is helpful for you guys also if you guys found any tricks or any sort of hacks that can potentially speed up the iPad want to love to hear from you guys leave a comment in the comment section thanks for watching guys see you guys next time